Hello, my name is Katherine Mulligan and I will be doing the kindergarten lesson on money, focusing in on the quarter. By this point, the children already have an understanding of the penny equaling one cent, a nickel five, and a dime ten. They also know that five pennies equal one nickel, two nickels equal one dime, and that ten pennies equal one dime. I will start by introducing the quarter in an enlarged version, either by holding this size up in front of the class or using it on the Elmo. Take a look at the front and the back side of it. Also, these play coins are a good way for the children to examine it. We could discuss the president, George Washington, on it, and anything else that they may that may interest them. By giving each child a pretend quarter to play with, this will avoid fights and frustration since they'll have their own time to look at the quarter and examine it. They could ask any questions about it that they may see on the quarter. I'll then tell the students that the value of the quarter is 25 cents. By singing a song about coins, it's a good way for the children to remember the value. A penny is worth one, a nickel is worth five, a dime is ten, and a quarter twenty-five. This is a good way for the students to remember how much each coin is worth. I'll ask the students if they ever use quarters in our environment. For instance, if they're parking the car by a parking meter, a vending machine, or a bogo machine. After discussing the quarter and its value, I'll read The Coin Counting Book by Roseanne Lenzek Williams. This is a really great book for the students um, since it has rhyming and rhythm in it. It also has math and it's an enjoyable book for the students. The first page reads, one penny, two penny, three pennies, four. What will we get when we add just one more? And the next page shows a nickel. This pattern continues throughout the book if they're adding the smaller coins and it equals up to a larger coin. One of the last pages is a good way, um, is a good preview for the students so because it has all different ways that you could add up to a dollar. This will be something they will study in the coming weeks on the dollar bill. After the reading activity, I'll give them a game. Bingo. Instead of bingo, it says coins. <clears throat> On the bingo card or coins card, there's different ways to write the coins. For instance, five pennies, four quarters, also writing in numerical form, 40 cents, five cents, 15 cents, and they're all mixed up so each child has a different card to play with. I will also let them play with the quarters so they could put the quarter on each um, on each square once they got the bingo card right. This activity is a great way for the children to remember the value of the quarter, especially singing that song together. It's enjoyable for the students, it's developmentally age appropriate, and it helps in their cognitive, cognitive development. I think this is a great way for children to remember the coins by having the large versions of them for them to look at and playing with the pretend quarters. By having a cash, cash register in the room, this is also a great way for the children to practice their value of money and how it's so important in our world today.